Do you want to improve at a quicker pace? Check out getgoodracing.com, where I'm offering the most accessible coaching sessions on the market. Now for the track guide. For turn 1, what I use as a reference for braking, it's a kink in the white line. So right now when I'm approaching it, I see that the white line here starts to get, to get curved a bit more to the left side. So I'm following the white line and the moment that I see that it straightens it up, that's the moment in which I break. Because ideally we want to break whenever the steering wheel is straight to maximize the efficiency under braking. So braking with the steering wheel straight, picking very high initially, close to 100, I'm picking around 93 or so, but then you'll have to quickly release it because you're gonna turn quite sharply and I'm aiming to go as close as I can to these black and orange sausage curves without touching them. So the key is cut as much as you can, both in this corner and in the next one as well. So cutting, still trailing at this point, then putting the power down and turning and again trying to cut as much as I can. So this is gonna be the key into turn one, turn two. You really want in this chicane to cut both curves. That's gonna be the main focus point for you. Now, tracking up white here, and it's not an issue because we can easily take this flat. So use all the track there. And going into the next corner, I'm looking at the 50. And after I pass the 50, just few meters forward, I'm starting to turn and then I'm braking. So I want to break as late as possible into this corner, even later than what I did in this lap. But the idea will still be the same. First turn, for point the car into the corner, then brake. So first turning, then applying the brakes. And you don't brake that hard initially because you want to be able to make the car point. You don't want to understeer because of the brakes. So brake a bit lightly initially, trailing and cutting as much as you can, such as in the first chicane, so that you will be as left as you can in this part of the track. And then whenever you have this part, you can brake a bit more, like I'm applying the brakes like three, four, five percentages more in, that, in this part, because this braking is more straightforward, you're not turning as you braking initially, you're braking more in a straight line. So whenever you have this split second to maximize the efficiency under braking, use it. Because quickly after that, you will have to turn. And it's the same thing. You will use this curve to its maximum potential and this one as well. Mindful that if you're going to put the right tires on the beginning of the curb here, it's going to be an off track. So don't use too much of the curb. You either use the maximum amount, which is something like you see in the video, or just a bit of it. If you're gonna use something like in between, the car will feel like it's bottoming out and you will lose time. So pick one of the two, but don't go in the middle because otherwise the car will bottom out. Now quickly repositioning for the next corner. I use this concrete on the right side and the 50 meter board as a reference for braking. And I'm gonna break slightly past it. So breaking slightly past it and in this corner here the car will be so so loose under the, this trail braking and whenever you put the power down. So the main idea is to be gentle both on in the trail brake, both with the steering wheel and uh, also the third thing with how you go on power because if you're gonna trail brake with a lot of steering angle the car is gonna spin there's no way around it so you should try to minimize the steering angle that you use in this corner while taking it so the goal will be to take this corner with the least amount of steering and you will try to not go past 45 degrees so initially don't go past 45 and whenever you're dropping the trail brake and now the car brings a bit of the weight back to the rears, then you can use a bit more of the steering wheel. But initially, don't use it that much because the car will just spin. And whenever you go back on power, do it gradually. It's the same thing. The more steering angle you have and you're also adding a smash on the throttle pedal, the car is just gonna snap. So avoid that. And now going into the next corner, first things first, you have to use this part of the track. You can put a, some part of the tire 
to the right side of the white line between the white line and the grass so make sure you're using this part of the track now i'm looking at the 50 and i'm breaking past the 50 but i break quite shallow here in this part so try to break as late as possible but a bit sharper and use more this curve because otherwise you will have to compromise the speed like it was a, a moment for me in which i just asked for more rotation from the steering wheel around here and then i go back and doing this correction just to make sure i won't track out wide is costing me time because you will see now that i'm gonna lose time on the exit so brake a bit harder rotate it more with the brakes and use that curb on the inside that's gonna help now going into the next chord and going into this chicane i'm turning in and i want to break as late as possible you, you will gain a lot of time on entry in this corner the exit is also important but you will gain maybe more on entry than other drivers because the entry is such a high risk high reward if you're able to keep the throttle pinned like a blink of an eye later you will gain one tenth just by going with the throttle pinned so i'm trying to break at the beginning of the curve and i don't want to break that hard because at this point i'm also turning the car so it's the same thing like two previous corners ago whenever you have some brake applied you should minimize the steering angle but if you can't go without a certain amount of steering angle then minimize the brake so i don't try to break that hard here but however the more i straighten up the wheel like it's right now i'm bringing it more to center then i'm applying the brakes because the car will break efficiently like now like right now it's not straight but it's way better than before so it makes sense that now i'm reapplying a bit more force using this part of the curb that's gonna be key in carrying speed because you want to open up this corner as much as you can and then still trailing up to this curb this was a bit of an earlier apex you can apex just a bit later because right now i have to delay my throttle application notice here that i have a frame in which i coast so i wasn't neither on the brakes nor on throttle and then i go back on throttle so apex a bit later but then put the power down nice and confidently use that curb it won't be an off track and going into the next chicane uh this one i completely messed it up but uh, i didn't have enough time to to do another lap so the breaking point is the 50 meter board you want to break slightly before the 50 and maybe you want to pick a bit higher than what i did i think the car is going to be capable so break at the 50 pick a bit higher i think that's going to be the best advice then trailing into this corner and you really want to cut as much as you can from both parts here and here however for some reason i upshifted to fourth instead of staying in third and the exit now is gonna be so difficult because right now with the upshift to fourth gear here i'm losing some rotation as well and i have to delay my input so ideally i think it's gonna be stay in third and try to put a bit of throttle to balance the car around this point around here you give it a blimp of throttle and the rear is gonna come back alive and then you can feather the throttle off to the exit this was a bit like this was a huge uh, gap try to avoid it moving now into the last part of the track we have these corners which have their own flow like the flow is very nice i really enjoy this part of the track so going downhill i'm looking at the 50 and slightly before the 50 i'm applying the brakes and picking high going to 92 uh, pressure initially then dropping off and i'm aiming to cut and put my tires on this green astroturf so cutting here then immediately go back on power i'm arriving to 100 percent throttle while using this curve like this and then just going straightening up the car a bit more and then starting to turn turn with 100 percent throttle again just a slight tab on the brakes because i want to aim around this green astroturf again so on the exit i'm gonna be again on this green part so you see here it's a it's a bit of a break now going to 100 staying a bit 100 straightening up the car giving just a dab on the brake and then building it up all while using all the green parts of the curb so using all the track and in short that's a track guide of imola with super formula I wish you a great week ahead and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.